Welcome back. <laughs> it is time to toss over to Kaylee, who has another Earth Week project in a, in a series this week that I'm calling Kaylee Cares. That's right. Because you care about the environment. I like that, I like that sound. Um, <laughs> my fiance drinks a lot of soda, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> fortunately for me today, because I have a lot of tin cans to use. So um, you just take a can. If you're not willing to recycle it, um, here's something that you can upcycle with. Mm -hmm. um, and it has, there's a lot of different ideas you can go, a lot of different <clears throat> routes. First, I made, this was a little candle jar, but it's about two cups. So I put a two. Oh. You can oh, I can't see that. See it's it. very, yeah. You might have to zoom in, oh. um, Clint, on that. Cause did you metal press that? Nope, I just used a nail. Are you serious? <laughs> really? Okay. I thought you had like yeah. a, a metal press. I did, but they weren't working. So oh. I had to improvise. All right. Uh, you can do a little push pin over here on a wooden basket. Maybe anything wood, honestly. Um, I, I love that click sound, by the way. I like that. I used to have a little, a little clicker, clicker thing. yeah. Was oh, you can train ticket. dogs with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ingrid yeah. Fair gave me one to try yeah. to train Bo. It yeah. hasn't worked yet. I had it work. <laughs> I, I, over my way. We'll it, see what we can do. You can make a little necklace. <gasps> now that's that cute, Kaylee. That is cute. Kaylee, I have a question. Is the tin, is it, uh, do you have to be but careful not to, not cut to yourself? cut yourself? Yeah, I would yeah, assume. but I'm not too yeah. afraid. Okay. I mean, fear <laughs> is one of the things that will stop you from doing almost anything. Yeah, I just didn't know if it was sharp. Uh, There's one, one thing I've learned about Kaylee. She has no fear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On some things, I guess. Uh, this one, I put mint. Obviously, this is not mint, but uh, it was the shortest word I could think of. So <laughs> I put mint. Um, again, the etching is pretty light, but up close, maybe a foot or two away, you can definitely tell what it says. Uh, and this is just for plants. You can stick it in soil, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a little sharp at the bottom. I'll show you how to make it. And then this is something if you have smaller jewelry, maybe rings, maybe stud earrings, mm -hmm. you can just throw it in there. So I like it. Multiple okay. ways. Let's get started. So we'll start with the bottom of the can. Please be careful if you're doing this at home because that yeah. just gives me. There's a lot of sharp objects involved. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was a good HBO and that series. That looks like a very sharp knife there. That works. You need a sharp. Yes. You know, I always called these exacto knives. Yeah. But they're utility knives. Oh, I've heard both. You know, I call them a box knife. Oh, really? I've always called okay. it a box knife. Well, okay. I used to call it an X-Acto knife, I've... and then I called it a box knife, but you're right. A utility I mean, knife is yeah. what I've always heard. Yeah. I have had a lot of accidents with them. Oh, you have? <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee, I like that you're honest with us. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so then this is what you'll, you'll end up with the bottom here, and which you can use as um, a little tag sort of thing mm -hmm. on a jar, or you can use it for a... Uh, little catch-all sort of thing. I also think that would be great um, for tags for Christmas gifts. That yeah. would be. But let me just notice that that can that you're dealing with is a little bit of lighter, lighter aluminum than some. It looks yeah. like to me. Maybe. Yeah. I think it's a lighter weight aluminum. I don't drink soda. Uh, I guess the cans that I, I do drink some uh, f like fizzy water. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever, bubbly water sort of yeah. stuff. Sometimes on that's occasion. cool that it'll just cut like that. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't tell you the last time I bought soda. I don't drink soda either. No, I don't either. Oh, well, I do drink a little Sprite. So then you'll just use your scissors, cut it around a little more evenly. Mm -hmm. Snip, snip, wherever you think is possible. And then you'll take some sanding paper just to be sure that you're not going to catch any sharp edges. Mm -hmm. It just, Sand I can't really down. watch you because I remember getting so many cuts on my fingers like that oh. just over the years. Yes. And that just. Yeah. Just, Sense memory right there. Yeah. I don't really like that sound. I was going to say, how do you feel about that sound? <laughs> so Scratching we'll, down we'll the go with chalkboard, that. yes. And also, this is the time where you would wash it, clean it, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, I tried to run some water through some of these, but maybe I grabbed it. It's a, easier that way, one. though, when they're done. So then you would take a nail, hopefully a longer nail than this, but uh, use whatever you got, and then you can, you can do letters, you can do numbers. Now, did you whatever. use a hammer? Or did you just press it with just the, the nail or the screw? Yeah. Just, oh, you didn't need to hammer it in. No. Okay, there you go. Although you could do like Kelly's uh, pin that one time where you... Oh, with the hammer, you were, you were the, the flower? You poke nails and stuff. Yeah, see, oh, that's what I was thinking. She was doing, you know, make yeah. an indention with the hammer to make too. it a little deeper. Yeah. Yeah. And that would be more uh, visual. And right. I'm wondering, I don't know if this would work. 
could you get that oxidizer and you know where it would uh, then, you know how sometimes the copper turns green after years, oh, but the yeah. patina that'd be cool. of that'd it, be cool. or you spray yeah. some kind of oxidizer and it, then it would kind of have more metallic and a rust oh, effect? Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know. I just, I don't know if that would work, yeah. but it would be yeah. cool. And it might bring out your etching stuff yeah. too. Yeah. Um, and then if you have a hammer, I think I left it in the other room, you can just hammer the nail into um, the top, or I guess there's no necessary top, but you can just hammer it in and then you'll get a hole and then you can put your string through it. Mm. Kaylee, can I so there's request some earrings while you're at it? You've got lots of tin there. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I we love that necklace. Some. That's great. We can do some. We can do some. Can I request a toe ring? Sure, Jeremy. <laughs> Might be a little sharp, but I mean, I guess you wouldn't have any toe hair after that. <laughs> you can use it for both, Jeremy. First of all, why did you give our, our viewers the visual of my toe hair this early in the morning? <laughs> Jeremy, I still have a visual of when you said your dogs licked your toes. I'm sorry. I can't get over it. It feels good. <laughs>